and welcome. How's everyone going? Neil Ellis here from Tykes TV. Get on about player ratings in a minute. What do we make it result? I think coming away with a point is not a bad bad result, if I'm being honest. In a, what can I say, a fairly scrappy game, poor game. But when you look at both setups at the side, similar styles, you look at the statistics in uh side as well, regarding where we are in the league, pretty similar to that as well. So it was going to be a close game. I think it was a game where we cancel one another out. We'll get to uh, details in a minute on thoughts and where, where things went. Just want to give, I mean, referee, shocking, absolutely shocking referee. And I don't know if any, you know, any other fans from other channels and that are watching this. It's stand, the standard referee, referee and get worse as you go down leagues. It was abysmal. Honest to God, it was. I was going to say both, for both sides, but we seem, it just seemed to be all us. No luck whatsoever. It was baffling. You question it. I mean, Devante Cole, when he went on that run, and even when I watched it back, I watched highlights back, you look and you think, it clearly catching. And then referees going with ball suggestion and all that. And yeah, referee didn't cover this in any justice, but I don't want to make it a show about a referee. It takes it away from show sure, what I wanted to talk about, Barnsley. But yeah. Let me know your thoughts on ref. And again, other 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 fans from other uh, clubs and channels, let me know your thoughts on standard refereeing. Do you think it's it's getting to a stage like now where something needs to be seriously, seriously looked at? Because not only have have a ruining game, but the costing clubs potentially points, you know, um, and it's not just on a bounds perspective, it's like any club. You know, when you look at some, I mean, some officiating over the last few weeks has been a joke. And, but anyway, if that's my bit of rant about ref. But yeah, I thought ref war, well, art is depth, if I'm being honest. Uh, an overall change just at half time for uh, linesman or line or lines person, whatever you want to call them. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm not going to make it a problem about that, so I'm going to get onto player ratings. <clears throat> so yeah, it'd be interested to get your thoughts on what I'm going to be going through and see where we can go, see what uh, what we can say about this. So player ratings against Bolton Wanderers. Again, these are my thoughts, and I might be a bit low, a bit high. Brad Collins. 6.3, crossing, across the across box. It, it, for me, he didn't seem to be dealing with him. For a numerous amount of crosses that were coming across box, just seemed to be like flapping at him, not reaching him. He diving for a month forward, but not getting to the ball. And what happened in the second half, he went past him, and their player on back post bobbled up and hit him, and I didn't go in, I don't know. But, yeah, I thought, balls cross ground, he won't make him and were a, were a fair amount of them. And at times I thought he looked unsure. And again, if this is going back to his injury we picked up, I don't know, as it took a bit of confidence out of the lad. It just seems to be not the player, I don't think anyway, I don't think he's a player that he was before he picked up the broken nose and head injury at um, Cambridge. Yeah, Cambridge, a bit of a while ago like now. But yeah, that's my thought on that. Tom Edwards, in my predicted lineup where I did on uh, a couple of days ago before the game, I'm not a million miles away from it, so it'd be interesting to see what your thoughts on when we go through this. So Tom Edwards, I'm getting six six point five. <clears throat> I thought he looked linked up well when he could and dragged trying to get forward, and if it's able to fill the position well, is what were required. Uh, long throws again in difficult conditions because he was pelting down at times and so we had. Four seasons weather, kind of, you know, more or less wind, rain, uh, shine. I think we're just missing snow. But, yeah, I thought he handled it well. I think the rest of the back line, and we'll come to it in a minute, I thought they looked pretty solid in a difficult game. We have uh, won't many chances, but what we had to do, they looked assured. 
Katja Mads Anderson, 7.5. A vast improvement from the Exeter game, where it seems to be getting every and everywhere out of possession. I thought it looked solid, comfortable. The Katja performance, he looked organised, he looked he looked assured in his own ability, if it makes sense. Whereas in it, he wasn't getting pulled out to silly positions or he was sticking close to his men, especially when corner kicks were happening for them. You know, some of Obviously, must have been much on training ground, but it was great to see that we weren't sheep following sheep, if it makes sense. Is that they went to back post, but we stuck to his task because eventually we'd have come there. If we'd have been pulled out of position, we'd have been at sixes and sevens. So it was a good performance in back style, as in we stuck to his task what were required. We could have been pulled back to back post like they wanted to, or pull a few players out. To create space, but we didn't. We stuck to his task. And again, for me, captain performance, Mads Anderson. Kundi, again, stuck to his task and tackles. Tried to keep line at shape. And I think game by game is improving. I think he's more game time is getting, especially with Conor McCarthy out for injury for the rest of the season. I'm going to give him a 6.8. Maybe he should have had a 7. I don't know. It's like what your thoughts are as well uh, What you're watching uh, when you're watching. Again, Liam Kitchen. I don't think he did out too elaborate, but he stuck to the task. Again, trying to bring the ball forward when he could. And you're always going to give that a bit of bite, that bit of fight, that bit of spirit, aren't you? When it was all kicks off a bit of a scuffle on there, you're always going to get that off the of kitchen. You want to see it, but sometimes you think, oh, but it's not going to be a red. You, you know, you pick up a booking. And sometimes you think it's a silly booking, but, you know, it's, it's learning. But it's something you're not going to get out of him. It's something what you probably could manage. Um, but again, I want that. I want buying the player a bit of that uh, fighting spirit. <sighs> Zaid Laresh. I mean, I, I I did predict that it could be Nicky Cadden starting with Laresh coming on, but it was the other way around. I want to give him a five point eight Laresh. I thought he would try with his work rate, but trying to get into areas and options for other players and. I didn't think it quite worked out for him. Quite not really in game at times. I think some link up play, whether it be linking up with midfield or linking up down left hand side, some link up play at times I found wanting. No disrespect to no no fault it is you know probably that understanding it first team is different to you know Papa John's, but again there is a player there we you know his ability we can do. It's probably just a few a game or two under his belt and he'll grow into that. But again, there's an option there. Nick Cadda, when he came on, again, another player I thought had a, a massive, well, not massive, but yeah, massive difference to the extra game because extra game is not just singling Nicky Cadda now, but it was a poor team performance. But he came on at half time and I thought positional play were a lot better. His final crossing to box, I mean, 86, 87th minute for Norwood. So we'll get on to Norwood a bit later. What a peach of a ball that was. You know, Arctic round and I know wouldn't score, I don't know. But again, Nicky Cadden came on at half time. If I were to rate Nicky Cadden, what would you give him at half time? I'd probably give him 5.96, something like that. Uh, yeah, probably give him a 6, something like that. Bit hard to judge on a on a game, but he's, he's had forty five minutes of the game, so yeah, slightly better than uh, Laresh. Got one mid- midfield and wing backs. Midfield, Luke Connell, seven point eight, just shading it from Mads Anderson, just shading it. Um, again, going back to Bolton, where it all started for him. Looking to link up and pass in midfield, look comfortable in midfield. Having a solid game, showed some great determination. And even when he didn't have the ball, if Barnes had lost position at ball, is shouting to Norwood and shouting to H and, and, and pointing to him, this is where I want you to run. I want you to be wrecking this. And he's constantly motivating. He's constantly looking and aware of his surrounding. And that's what I like about that player. Obviously, when he got at full time, I think I've given him probably another few points for squaring up to Ian Everett. And I don't get why... Not all, but uh, some of Bolton fans were booing Luke Connell. Uh, Ian Everett was sarcastically clapping him up when he uh, sub, subbed off. Don't know why. Um, 
people will probably say, you know, because he's an ex-Bolton player, sort of, but for Ian ever a manager to sarcastically clap someone off and then to confront a player after full time. And fair play to Connell. He stood, up, stood, his, uh, stood his ground um, and, and, you know, went face to face. I'd have done the same. If I'd have been behind him, I'd have, I'd, have, I'd have backed him up and all. I'd have been in his corner as well. But yeah, Luke Connell, uh, my man at match. Some might agree, disagree. Let me know your thoughts in comments below. Just shading from Mads Anderson. And he probably could get a few more points for, like I said, standing his ground and uh, not being intimidated by Ian Everett. Josh Benson, again, he were, he were an island for Josh. Uh, trying to get things going in midfield, but Preston closed down. Didn't really work out for him. A bit a bit in and out at game, a bit quiet. One of his quietest games. Some at three kicks, woeful three kicks. I mean, wasted. I'll get on about that in a minute, but some at three kicks what were wasted. Uh, set pieces were well, one, I think it was in what, the first half. Second half, we had a decent opportunity and for some reason it was like a daisy cutter. Um, again, not one of his best games, not one of his worst. So I'm going to give him a six. six. Jack Aitchison. This what well, I, I was. I think it was a surprise for me, if I'm being honest. I predicted that I think after Martin double against Don, no, Doncaster in Papa John's, I thought he might have started him. It didn't really work out for him, Jack Aitchison, when he played a position again for his at, um, at Barnsley. And at 5.7, I'm going to give again. I, I, if I'm being honest, I, I didn't really know he was in game. I thought it was quiet. I was surprised he didn't get something off at half time. I just thought Martin's got to come on surely, which I think he did about 65th minute, I think. And I think. I don't think Kitchen is. I think he's struggling in that position at, at, at minute. I thought Martin would have started. I thought Martin would have started in position from, from off. Because for his position there to fill, uh, obviously we look Thomas being out. But yeah, I, I'm being honest, you know, your guys let me, I didn't really notice him in game, H, and if I'm if I'm being fair, he might do, he might, you know, done a lot of running off at ball and back, but is for getting involved in game, I didn't really see it. Vante Cole, 6.5, again, he was trying, lad, trying to hold ball up, trying to rotate, Trying to, for me, he started to get looking frustrated and I've seen it in a few games like now when things aren't just going where he start not head down was looking frustrated, whether that's his own ability or whether that's because it's not just not going where that it's supposed to be going game. Can't fault his wit rate, running into channels, trying, you know, trying to hold things up up front to fetch others into it, but it just won't happening with uh, Aitchison. It said to improve a bit when Martin came on. That bit of Lincoln uh, movement there, what was sent to be there. But again, for me, it didn't really happen. I mean, when you think about the staff, we didn't have any shots on on goal, we didn't have any on target. In the staff, we had zero chances. And again, free kicks and crosses, I think, could have been a lot better. Norwood, 5.9. Again, at, at start, I thought it looked slow, if I'm being fair. I thought he looked off pace, he looked slow, I didn't think he looked in it. But he completed 90 minutes. Uh, closing down. Completed game. You know, he completed game again, 90 minutes. Never gave up. I was half expecting, you know, as game went on, I'd be going to fetch Jalla one. A fresh pair of legs, someone a bit nippy, a bit zippy up front. Just try and get him on counter. I should break it up, try and long ball over. But again, would it have been a risk too much to take, knowing that we'd gone in a game but didn't really offer much? Um, in a game that didn't really offer much, would it worth putting a young lad on as a gamble? I don't know. Be interesting for what what, uh, what your guys and girls think. Do you think we could have subbed off Norwood and probably take a gamble? Or what a point, a fair result? What a point! Uh, a good result at Bolton, because when you when you look at all stats, regards league, 
regards to style of play, it more or less matched toe to toe, didn't it? But not out really to write on about. It's another side we've gone away, another another side up there in, in top, saying, you know, what we've held his own. You know, it's another one ticked off at box. We played such as like your Plymouths, your Derby's, your Ipswich, Chef Wednesdays, your teams up there. Yeah, Cambridge weren't playoffs not so long ago, babe, at home record. So, we, we move on. I mean, we've got a free week. All, all being well, players can get some rest. Big game again coming up. Mark them away. Mark them away. We've got a big game coming up for, and that one. And a good following again, like at, at Bolton. Fair play to all fans. Made some noise. Up in up in God's, won't we? Um, made some noise. Good following. And fair play to everybody. I hope everybody got home well as well. Like I say, conditions in the back weren't great. Uh, it rained about. I hope it was a safe journey for everybody back. So, yeah, we move on to Markham away. Another tricky get uh, another tricky game, but one what we should be looking at to uh, no disrespect to Markham to be coming away with a result and possibly three points. Bolton wonders against Barnes. If you say in comments below, let me know your thoughts about man at match. Let me know your thoughts about perf uh, the performance. Out about game, let me know. Uh, I, I do reply to them all. Please like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate you taking time out for watching this. Um, and yeah, let me know your man at match. One thing left to say, you Reds.